Shifting an 18-speed gearbox might sound like a lot of work when you first hear it, and it actually will be quite hard when you do it for the first time, so whether you're trying to get your CDL or simply trying to have more fun in the trucking sim, hopefully I can give you guys some tips. The hardest thing when you're trying to shift an 18-speed gearbox, or any gearbox for that matter, is the clutch. Learning the clutch is pretty hard. You're going to have to feel the bite point. That's really all you need to learn. I recommend you go ahead and practice this a couple times. Simply push in the clutch as slowly as possible and try and feel for that point where the clutch loses its pressure. And then slowly release it and feel that point where the pressure of the clutch starts to push back on your foot again. That point right there is the bite point. Once you get a feel for that, you pretty much learned the clutch. The next thing is you're going to have to learn the throttle modulation. When you are shifting the truck, you're going to have to clutch in, shift, and then give it gas while releasing the clutch. When you begin, you're going to want to have to do this action slowly, but as you get better at it, you'll be able to do them both in a synchronized manner that will allow you to do it fast. This is the 18 speed layout. As you can see, each gear has a high and low, and there's four reverse gears. Print out this layout, I'll have, a, have it linked below. Go ahead and place it somewhere where you can see while you're driving. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and jump in your truck for practice. I recommend if you're, try, if you're trying to get your CDL, you go ahead and purchase American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator too, as it'll really help you learn. So let's go ahead and start off here. I'm going to go ahead and clutch in. Car is rolling. I'm going to go ahead and clutch in, and I'm going to put it in first gear. Since this is going downhill, I don't really need a lower gear with a lot of power. I'm going to go ahead and release my brake, signal, and I'm going to feel for that bite point while giving it a tiny bit of gas. As the car starts to move, you'll feel when the revs are free, and then you can release the clutch. When you're going through a split from a low to a high, you simply need to switch it, and then release the gas. It'll automatically switch, and you can get back on. When you're shifting, however, you're going to want to clutch in, put it in neutral, toggle the switch to get back in low, put it in that gear, and then slowly release it, feeling for that bite point while getting on the gas. Once again, toggle the high switch, release the gas, and get back on. Now I need to go ahead and merge here, so let me focus on this. As you can see, I'm not using low gear. You don't need to use every gear when you're shifting. Obviously, that would not be practical. You only need to use a lower gear if you have a heavy load and the truck won't support it. So, go ahead, follow the layout, shift around, try practicing. Now, when you're using cruise control, the cruise control will get disabled every time you shift a gear. So, you're going to have to uh, learn not to use it as much. Of course, when you're cruising down the highway like this, and you're in a, a permanent gear to say, you can use it, but when you're, say, in the city, you shouldn't use it, as you're going to need to shift a lot. So I hope you guys got some tips from this. Just get out there and practice, and I'll see you guys in the next video.